Hey, welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in simplest possible way. In the series of pattern printing, so far we have seen so many patterns. In this video, we will see how we can actually print this particular pattern. So, if you could carefully observe this pattern, this pattern having some uniqueness. And the uniqueness is that if you could carefully observe this diagonal and this diagonal having the values as 1 and for above and below this diagonal, we are having 2 in this way and we have 2 and 3, 4, 5 like that we have symmetrical shape of above and below of these diagonals of 1. So, let us go ahead and see how we can actually print this particular pattern. So, in order to print this particular pattern, we will divide this whole pattern into two patterns and we will combine both of them and we can get the whole pattern. So, as we have discussed, we, have, we need to divide this pattern. So, for that, I will be taking this particular above pattern and later we will see how we can print this particular below pattern. So, by combining them, we can get the whole pattern. So, in order to print this particular above pattern, I will take a variable rows and, and I will assign the value for this rows as 5 because if you could carefully observe this pattern, we have 5 rows, right? Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4 and row 5. So, for that reason, I am taking the rows as 5. So, later, if you could observe this pattern carefully, here we are having these spaces. So, these are the spaces and before this particular numbers, we need to print the spaces. So, for that, what I will be doing is that I will take one more variable as spaces and I will assign with 0 because in the first row, if you could carefully observe, before this particular numbers, we don't have any spaces. For that reason, I am taking the spaces as 0. So, later, in order to generate this many number of rows, I will use a for loop for i in range so now we will generate a range of values and the question is what are the range of values we are going to generate here so we need to generate the range of values based on this particular pattern so that we could use those values in order to generate all these particular values so for that i will take this particular diagonal which is having the values 5 4 3 2 1 Later, by using these values, we can generate all of these values as well. So, in order to generate 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I will start with rows, which is having the value of 5, and I will go till 0. So, by the functionality of range, it will stop at 1. So, I will reduce with minus 1, so that the values will be in the decreasing order with minus 1. So, in order to know what value we have in this i, I will just print the value i here. So, as we have expected, we have got the values as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, which are exactly the values that we are having in this particular diagonal. So, later, we will use this particular diagonal values, which are exactly this i value, we can able to generate these particular values. So, if you could carefully observe this i values and this particular every single row here, it was starting the every single row starting with value i and going till the value 1. So, in the first row, we are starting with i which is 5 and going till the value 1. In the second row, we are starting with value i which is 4 and going till 1. So, in that way, every single row starting with value i going till the value 1. So, for that, these are repeated, right? So, in every single row, this particular pattern of starting with i going till 1 is repeating. So, that as we know, when we have repeated statement, we use loops, right? So, for that reason, in this for loop, I will use one more for loop for j in range. Now, I will generate a range of values. So, as we have discussed, every single line starting with i going till the value 1. So, for that reason, I will start with i and go till the value of 1. So, for that, I have mentioned 0 here. So, I will mention minus 1 because we need to get the values in the decreasing order. So, in this for loop, instead of printing i, I will print the value j here so that we can able to get all of the values. So, if you could able to observe this particular j values here, we are getting 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1 and 1. So, these are the exact values that we are having in this particular pattern. So, now we have got the values. 
the only thing we need to do now is that we need to arrange those values so that we can able to get the whole pattern so in order to arrange those values i will use an end parameter here with single space because by default this end is having new line character because of that reason we are getting all these values in the new line so by mentioning this end with space we will get all values in the single line so after that this for loop we are going the values from i till the value 1 right so after once we re we reaches to the value 1 we need to get a new line in this way so for that i am mentioning a print statement after completion of the execution of this inner for loop so that we can able to get a new line so by default this end parameter inside of this print function having a new line character so that we can able to get the new line so now if i execute this we can able to get this pattern which is whenever we are going till the value 1 it was giving me a new line character so now the only thing we need to do here is that we need to arrange these spaces before these numbers so for that as and when we come to this outer for loop i am printing a space here so i am multiplying the spaces variable and i am mentioning with end as nothing so by mentioning this spaces multiplying the spaces variable we are doing string multiplication and so that we can be able to get those many number of spaces that we are having in this variable spaces so by mentioning this end parameter with nothing we don't get the new line because by default end have new line we don't want any new line for that reason i am mentioning with nothing so after once we have completed this we in this pattern the spaces are increasing after each row right so for that reason in order to increase those spaces I, have men I am mentioning spaces plus equal to 1 after completion of this inner for loop. So now if I execute this, so we can able to get the above pattern exactly what we have expected and what we have in here. So I hope so far you have understood this logic and I hope so far you have enjoyed this video. If that is true, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. So let us go ahead and see how we can generate this particular below pattern. So in order to generate this below pattern, we will follow the similar procedure what we have followed to generate the above pattern. So for that, in order to generate those many number of rows, I am using a for loop k in range. So we will use this range function to generate values. So what are the range of values we are going to generate in here? So here we will take this diagonal which is having 2, 3, 4, 5. So by using this diagonal, later we will generate all of these values here. So in order to generate this diagonal, I will start with the value 2 because that is what we are starting here and I will go till the value of rows plus 1. So this 5 is having inside of this rows and by mentioning this rows plus 1, we will go till the value of rows. So inside, what I will be doing is that I will just print the value k here so that we can know what values we are having in k. So as we have expected, we have the values 2, 3, 4, 5, which are exactly in this diagonal. So if you could compare this particular pattern and this particular k values, we can observe that in every single row, this, val this pattern is starting with 1 and going till the value of k here. In the first row, it was starting with 1 going till the value k, which is 2. In the second row, starting with 1 going till the value k, which is 3. So, in that manner, every single row starting with 1 and going till the value of k. So, these are repeating, right? So, when we have repeated statements, we go for loops. So, for that reason, I am mentioning one more loop here. L in range. So, as we have discussed, in every single row starting with 1, and going till the value of k. For that, I am starting with 1 and I am going till the value of k. So, inside, instead of printing this particular k, I will print the value l here. So, now, if I execute this, we can able to get the result 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like that, we are getting the exact value so that what we have in this particular pattern. So, now, the only thing we need to do is that we need to arrange these values so that we can able to get the whole pattern. So for that, as we have done previously, we will follow the similar procedure. I am putting a single space here in this end so that we can get everything in a single line. 
after once it reaches to the value k i will print a new line so that we can able to get everything in a new line as per the pattern so like this we can able to get these values in this particular pattern so now we need to arrange these spaces before these particular numbers here we are having spaces right so for that reason as and when i enter into this outer for loop i will mention a space and i will multiply with spaces variable and i will mention this end with nothing so now if i execute this so we can able to see the result the mistake that what i have done is that i didn't done any modification to the spaces because if you could carefully observe this particular pattern here the spaces are keep reducing right so for that reason now i have mentioned spaces minus equal to 1 so that the spaces will be reduced after each iteration so we have got the similar pattern but the problem is that we haven't got the exact pattern so here the spaces are mismatching we are getting more spaces than expected here so that we are going the we have got the pattern little bit to the right side so the reason is that we are using the spaces variable for both above pattern and below pattern so this particular spaces having some kind of problem so in order to know what value we are having in spaces i am just printing the spaces here so now we have got the spaces value as 5 so but if you could carefully observe this first row in the below pattern we have only three spaces but here we have getting five spaces we need to decrease these spaces by two so that we can only get the spaces three so for that reason i am mentioning spaces minus equal to two so by mentioning this we can reduce the spaces by two so that we can able to get the exact pattern if i execute this so we can able to get the exact pattern that is what we have expected here so in this pattern we are starting with one in this uh, right side and going to the left side in this diagonal way and we are having all ones and above and below this pattern we have this particular symmetric values like this so i hope so far you have understood this logic to generate this whole pattern so if you found any difficulty while understanding this logic i sincerely suggest you to go through the video once again so that you can able to understand it clearly so now instead of this five we will take dynamically input from the user so we can able to print the pattern based on the user input so for that i am asking user to enter rows so now if i execute this so it was asking me to enter rows if i give let's say four here we can able to see the pattern this exact pattern that what we have expected so now if i give let's say value as 9 here so we can able to see the pattern which is exactly what we have expected having this ones in this diagonal manner and above and below we are having this particular pattern like this so now i hope you can able to understand this logic to generate this particular pattern by any number given by the user in the next video we will see how we can actually print this particular pattern so to stay updated subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications to all so that whenever i upload any video you will get the notification so thank you for watching this video see you in the next one